back everybody thank you so much for joining me we have just two little things to address today i have my parafalonopsis labukensis here doing well for a parafalonopsis labukensis because they are extremely slow growing but finally there is some movement this is the newest leaf needle that it's producing but you can see i've mummified a root here I need to get this into the pot. I want to see what's going on. I'm sure it's doing fine root-wise, but this one is trying to crawl out. It's got to go back inside. And the same with my polystachys here. I really want this root to be in the pot and not crawling across the leaf like that. The polystachys doesn't have many roots as such, and that is why I would like to address it today. Get it done, it's growing super fast. So I want to get that taken care of ASAP. I appreciate that you're here. There's not much to do, except have a quick look as to what we are up against. So this is a good thing. These roots are all firm. That's great. Very, very happy. That's awesome. So actually now all that's left to do is free that root from the leaf base and put it back in its pot. Yes, I'm forfeiting a leaf, but I'm okay with that. I have a new leaf growing, and I really want this polystachys root to go down into the pot and establish itself there. There's not much I can do with an aerial root at this point in time. I am a bit concerned about the fact that there is no branching or root growth in the pot. So that tells me that maybe my setup, it doesn't like it. Hmm. Am I going to be stubborn about it at this point? I think I am. And on top of that, I'm going to get rid of this next leaf as well because it is drying off on the sides anyway. Apologies about the background barking. It's like we are going to be attacked. So Baloo is doing his job. So I'm going to remove this leaf as well. Trying not to break the root in question. And instead of yanking like some kind of renegade, let's just snip it off. There we go. It looks like there's another root trying to grow out here, which is great. Do we go one more? Do we go one more? I'm tempted. I mean, these leaves aren't pretty, so let's get rid of them. They are not the prettiest, so let's see. Maybe we can encourage another root to grow, and then we can try and do this again in six months. <laughs> I really want this polystachys to do well in my setup. There we go. We are getting there. What do I see hanging down in there? Let me have a look. If it is what I think it is, scale, then I'm glad I did what I just did. What is this? No, it's not scale. It's not scale. It's funny how roots push through a leaf and actually take the leaf out on their own in their own right. 
because I have that with my Jamelia happening as well. Sorry, my Angrecum bossery. New root growth, and it took out its own middle leaf. So there we go. Are we going to fiddle with that as well, or just leave it? Let's see if we can clean that up a bit. There we go. That'll be it for now. Then I'm going to try and get it into the pot as it was, a little bit lower. I'm thinking to remove the middle support. You see, I want it to be, I don't mind if the orchid is not in the middle. All right, taking out the middle support, I may have a little bit more room to play. time I'm going to leave the orchid a little bit lower. I have a dry top layer that I have to contend with and I'm going to see if I can counteract that a little bit by leaving the orchid lower in the pot. If that root still decides to climb out, I will get the hint. Okay, so where the root is, I've covered her. On the other side, I'm going to leave it for now because I have another root growing there. And I don't want to compromise that root tip because of a dry piece of lecker touching it, which in my climate is definitely can be the case. Maybe I can tease the root down into the humid environment, just by keeping that area a bit more humid. But for now, the root that I was targeting is covered and protected with Lekka. So that's that. That's all I want to do with that for now. Keep it in the shade a little bit, just to protect it a little bit. Now the Labocensis. I had this rock here because in the last time, year and a half ago, I directed a root down into the pot and it was trying to come out the top again. So I put a rock down to keep it going into the pot. Let's see if that worked. And let's see if we can get this root here to go in the pot. had some progress in the root front that's great there's more now root tips growing fantastic and there's another little root tip coming in the back here that was obscured from view because of how it lives so that's great 
Awesome. We have one dead root. And that's it. Otherwise, Labukensis is doing okay. Yeah, this one's firm. Fantastic. So, not much rocket science here. Let me see, make sure I focus. There we go. Look at that. When a plan comes together. This is a pendant orchid, but clearly too young to exhibit those character traits when potted up. There's no shaking for this pot. These are so far in between that all the gaps will fill on their own. And that is the Labokensis taken care of. Roots where I would like to have them. So let's hope that it agrees with me and continues to keep those roots down below. I just have to remember where I put the roots so I don't stab them with the tag. There we go. Right, there we go. Let's see if that little root tip will progress and stay in the media. If not, in six months, I'll do it all again. Maybe I should put a rock back, seeing as it was there. And this time, the microfiber will be right here where that root is growing, keeping that wet so that I don't miss the mark and letting it dry out. And for my polystakis, I've got a microfiber right there to keep that growing root tip happy and hopefully direct it down into the media. There. So while that was a quick video, sometimes I think, oh, this is will just take a minute. And it turns out there's always a twist and a turn. So thank you everybody very, very much for watching. And I appreciate having you here. Really, I do. So everybody have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.